A very good morning to everyone. So today we have the demo of the palm region or the hand region. So in the hand region we have thinner area or इसको बोलेंगे हम लोग hypothinar area. Thinner area में तीन muscles होते हैं. सबसे ऊपर वाला जो देख रहे हैं इसको बोलेंगे abductor pollicis brevis और थोड़ा middle side में इसको बोलेंगे हम लोग flexor pollicis brevis. ये दोनों muscles को lift करेंगे या फिर cut करेंगे तो नीचे में जो muscles होगा यहाँ पे इसके नीचे में तो उस मसल्स को बोलेंगे हम लोग ओपोनेंस पॉलिसिस सेम हाउ अगर हम हाइपोथिनर एरिया देखते हैं ये बाहर से जो मसल्स दिख रहा है इसको बोलेंगे हम लोग एबडक्टर डिजिटाई मिनिमाई और जो मिडल साइड में यहाँ पे छोटा मसल्स दिख रहा है इस मसल्स को बोलेंगे हम लोग द फ्लेक्सर डिजिटाई मिनिमाई सेम हाउ ये दोनों मसल्स को लिफ्ट करेंगे तो नीचे में इसके नीचे में यहाँ पर जो मसल्स होगा उसको बोलेंगे हम लोग ओपोनेंस डिजिटाई मिनिमाई सो ये तीनों के तीन प्लस तीन छः मसल्स हो गए All these thinner muscles is supplied by median nerve, or we can say recurrent branch of the median nerve. And this one, all these hypothenar muscles is supplied by deep branch of ulnar nerve. So can you see here? This is something known as superficial palmar arch, and this superficial palmar arch is mostly formed by the the radial sorry ulnar artery. Or this artery here it forms the superficial palmar arch. But, but the arch is completed by the anastomosis with the superficial branch of the radial artery or by the princeps pollicis or by the radialis indices and these all are the branches of the superficial palmar arch let's reflect it and you can see here in the medial aspect this is known as the ulnar knob and this ulnar knob is supplying to the medial one and half of the digits as well as the the medial one and half of the palmar aspect and the deep branch the deep branch is mostly this one is known as the deep branch so deep branch goes and supply to the hypothenar muscles to the third and the fourth lumbricals i'll be showing about the third and fourth lumbricals as well as to the four palmar introsus four dorsal introsus and adductor pollicis muscles so we will be i'll be showing about all those muscles so can you see here now we can see the the lumbricals muscles so these all are the tendons of flexor digitorum superficialis and flexor digitorum profundus the one which you can see here in the superficial area this one is known as the first second third and the fourth tendon of flexor digitorum superficialis right this flexor digitorum superficialis it bifurcates or we can say it divides into two slips and which goes and attached to the middle phalanx right on the either side of the middle phalanx and can you see this is the tendons of flexor digitorum profundus here the second one this is the third one and here we have the fourth one the fourth tendon of flexor digitorum profundus this flexor digitorum profundus which goes and attached to the terminal phalanx of medial four digits 1 2 3 and the four digits right now in between that we have the muscles that is known as lumbricals muscles so this is something known as the first lumbrical this is known as the first lumbrical this is known as the second lumbricals right while this is known as the third lumbricals over here and while this is known as the fourth lumbrical i am going to show you about the fourth lumbricals right this is the fourth lumbricals so total we can say first second third and the fourth lumbricals now origin of the the fourth lumbricals muscles takes place from the flexor digitorum profundus or we can say from the tendons of flexor digitorum profundus and it goes and attached to the dorsal digital expansion and the nerve supply of the first and second lumbricals takes place from the the median nerve and third and fourth it is supplied by the ulnar nerve or we can say deep branch of the ulnar nerve so the action of the lumbricals muscles is flexion of the metacarpophalangeal joints and extension of the interphalangeal joints now same how let's reflect it right can you see just deep to the the thinner muscles you can see the muscles over here this is something known as adductor pollicis muscles right so this adductor pollicis muscles is supplied by deep branch of the ulnar nerve now same how in between the metacarpal bones in between the metacarpal bones here we can see these muscles are known as palmar introsus muscles so total we have four palmar first second third and the four palmar introsus muscles and all this palmar introsus muscles is supplied by deep branch of the ulnar nerve same how on the posterior aspect on the posterior aspect we have 
the muscles that is known as the dorsal introsseous muscles can you see here these muscles are known as the dorsal introsseous muscles